guys welcome and welcome back okay so guess who woke up today and decided they wanted to get rid of some old palettes your girl now if you're a regular you know that i do not like decluttering palettes do not it's very difficult for me to do and i don't like wrecking my brain over whether or not i should keep <laughs> eyeshadow palettes but I had two bins of, you know, little bins of older palettes that have been in my collection for quite a while that either I haven't used and I know I probably am not going to use or, you know, they're just ones that have sentimental value or ones where I just really like the color story or the theme of the palette. But quite honestly, with the way that my collection stands today, I have a lot of palettes that I would definitely choose over these palettes when it comes to color story. And a lot of these brands don't even exist anymore. And some of the palettes, the quality is questionable. <laughs> so what I was going to do, I was going to, hi, <laughs> I was going to, you know just lay down some rules or prerequisites for palettes that i'm going to keep like does it hold sentimental value do i love the color story is it something that i would actually reach for and um, other than the sentimental value aspect the other ones really don't matter because like i said i have color stories for all of these palettes in better formulas so let's just go ahead run through these palettes hopefully I'll be decluttering most of them because I'm really just trying to get rid of these old palettes that I'm holding on to for whatever reason. So I have a couple here already <laughs> ready to go that I can start out with. Let's just start with this Peachy Queen palette. It's called We're All Mad here. Now, this palette I definitely really, really enjoyed the theme of it, you know, the whole we're all mad here, which has to do with, I think it's Alice in Wonderland, right? I was like, oh, that's cute. And then the color story itself is one where it's a very cute color story. It really is. Now, is it a unique color story? Not in the least. Is it something that I don't have in a million palettes? Not at all. So for this one, it really would just be a matter of, do I want to keep this palette because of the theme of it and the way it looks and the answer is no so <laughs> i'm going to go ahead and get rid of that one ah! okay so here we go this is from makeup obsession i don't even know do they still sell makeup obsession palettes um this is the la dreams very cute packaging and the theme of it as you can see is this really pretty like pink and turquoise um the quality of these palettes is, you know, not the best in my collection, quite frankly. You know, it's drugstore quality or below. Um, and if I wanted to use this color story, I definitely have other palettes that I would reach for first. As a matter of fact, let me just take a look at one that I believe has the same color story. Okay, so I went and I grabbed my Morphe palette. Which one is this? This is the Sweet Oasis, the 30S, 35S. So as you can see, and Morphe is not the best quality either, but if I wanted to use this color story, I would just grab my Morphe palette because this one is newer. It's more in the forefront of my brain and this one it would just i would never think of this so with that being the case i'm gonna go ahead and declutter this one because i definitely don't need it okay so let's just move over here and pull a few of these okay this is the trace luce the i am palette i'm pretty sure i got this in a boxy charm and when I got it, I definitely felt like, see if I can not have this mirror in the way. I definitely felt like um, it was a really pretty palette. The color story is really pretty. You know, it has the neutrals, has the colors. Um, but it does have smaller pans. And I'm just one of those people that doesn't really care for super small eyeshadow pans. Um, and would I reach for this other than any other palettes? 
no i wouldn't and it definitely does not have any sentimental value for me so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and declutter that very pretty palette though makeup addiction flaming love rebirth <laughs> I've gone back and forth over this palette for so long, so many times. Um, just, hmm. And it's mainly because these shades over here, I'm always like, oh, I can use those for bronzers, use that for contour. These are really pretty eyeshadows, but they're not even in business anymore, I don't think. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't even think they're in business anymore. And Honestly, if I haven't used this palette by now, <clears throat> I'm probably not going to. It has these nice large pans that I like. You know what? This is one that I can actually take out because I believe they're magnetic. Hold on. Let me see. I feel like this is one that I can add to my single shadows. Let's see. Are they magnetic? Yep, they are. So, okay. That helps with this one because I really do like the colors in these shadows and, you know, like the fact that these are like, um, you know, bronzer type shades and stuff. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead, depot this because they are magnetic and then I'll just get rid of the palette itself. Okay, so next I have here Pink Lips Cosmetics, the pink palette. <laughs> Now, I bought this palette only because of the fact that my two girls here on YouTube had bought this palette, loved it, and was like, oh, you need to get it, you need to get it. As you can see, I never use this palette. I'm really not a big pinky red eyeshadow type person. It's cute for Valentine's Day or whatever, but yeah, I have no attachment to this palette whatsoever, so this one can go. Now this one here, I'm pretty sure it's not going anywhere. <laughs> this is my BoxyCharm palette. This is the only palette that BoxyCharm did that I'm aware of. I don't know, you know, I don't get BoxyCharm anymore. But I just thought it was cute, you know? And I thought that, you know, it was something that was actually, um, you know, pretty nostalgic, pretty unique because of the fact that, um, you know, it's the only palette that they, ever did and so I actually used it and when I used it I actually liked it <laughs> you know I thought that the shimmers were nice you know the mattes were nice I know a lot of people didn't really care for it but I actually liked it when I used it so um as you if you'll notice I'm not really swatching these palettes because then this video will take forever but yeah I feel like I'm going to keep this I feel like it's a keepsake, and I don't know if they'll ever come out with another palette, but I'm going to keep that one. Okay, so let's move into a few of these palettes over here. Okay, so let's look at this first one. This one is from SS Chic Boutique. Um, very <laughs> plain packaging. There's actually nothing else on here, but um this is the color story in this palette excuse the dirty mirror but this is the color story in this palette it's actually very pretty it's really really pretty and um this is an indie brand where i'm not even sure if they still exist once again um yeah i'm thinking maybe they don't uh let me see something here. Let me just check right quick and see if they even have an Instagram or anything. Okay, so it looks like they do have an Instagram, but it looks like they are posting all kind of things that aren't necessarily makeup. Maybe they moved more into fashion um, and nails and things like that. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. I'm over here getting some wipes because I like this color story. Uh, but it's like, child. Yeah, they're a little powdery. Oh, that's pretty. <laughs> 
see this is why I don't want to swatch this is why I don't like declutters oh this one might get to stay this one might get to stay even though the brand is not doesn't look like they're really even doing makeup anymore these shadows are pretty pigmented uh, okay okay you know what I'm, a, I'm gonna put this in a maybe pile we're gonna start a maybe pile okay so I'm gonna put that in a maybe pile and you know go from there let me wipe off these swatches okay so this next palette is um it looks like is it beauty by stony i remember this palette the remedy eyeshadow palette and this palette is actually really really pretty i bought this palette when they came out with it <laughs> you guys can see my see my setup here but i bought this palette when they came out with it and they sent me one for pr this was years ago and it's a decent palette um these colors you know i have them a million times over of course and the quality yeah the quality is not i mean that's pretty but this pink not so much so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and declutter this one okay so next i have this palette from affiano i'm pretty sure i got this off of amazon and i kept this because for quite a while um you know i was really really into blues just all kind of blue palettes just for whatever reason i was crazy for blue and this palette actually has um well it had at the time oh yeah see no it's not that great at the time i felt like this palette had a really decent formula but now yeah see how crumbly that is and there's glitters in here it's like three glitters in here yeah no this one can go okay next I have this XZX cosmetics <laughs> the dreamer palette okay let's see what's in here okay so this is a pinky purple palette very pretty very monochromatic um it doesn't even look like i've touched it honestly have not touched this um mm, do i want to touch it i don't i'm going to put this in a pile to give away um if somebody wants it you know that likes pinks and purples i'll give this away because it hasn't been touched and um i don't need it okay next becca muse this does this have a name hmm i don't think these palettes had names honestly but this is a becca muse palette and this palette is as you can see kind of like a fall palette has like the fall shades oranges browns and red tones hmm this is not really my vibe and i think if i did want to do a look Using these colors, I grab one of my Beauty Bay palettes, you know, like the red one or, you know, hold on, let me see. Yeah, see, I have this Fiery uh, 2.0 from Beauty Bay. So if I wanted to do a look with these colors, I'm definitely going to grab my Beauty Bay. The shimmers are amazing. The mattes are great. So I would never reach for this over my Beauty Bay. So yeah, I'm pretty sure I can go ahead and declutter the Becca Muse. Ooh, I got a lot of palettes. Okay, this Kush Queen by Peachy Queen. Now this does have some sentimental value because me and my girl Lily here on YouTube, Lily Living Life, fell in love with this palette when it came out we both were just like oh my goodness oh my goodness it's amazing it's amazing i mean of course since then <laughs> you know we both have found you know other palettes and things that we probably like a lot better than this but at the time this color story was something serious okay <laughs> it was something serious and now looking at it it would really be kind of like do i want to keep it because of sentimental value because i probably wouldn't reach for this again um 
I don't even know. Oh yeah, it's still it's still very nice. <laughs> oh yeah, she's still pretty popping. Okay, yeah. So uh, it's not a, a matter of quality, that's for sure. And I don't even think Peachy Queen exists anymore, to be honest with you. I'm not sure. Don't quote me, but I don't think they do. But because this has sentimental value, I'm gonna keep this one. Okay. Next, I have this California Republic, and I believe this is from Peachy Queen as well, honestly. They came out with, yeah, Peachy Queen. They came out with a lot of different types of palettes, and this one, you know, some for like different states. This one was from California, and although I hated, and when I say hated, I mean absolutely hated the color story. Uh, yeah, I know hate is a strong word, but I'm like, this color story does not say California to me at all. At all. I, I've never drawn to use this palette. Has this glitter in here for Hollywood. Okay, that's fine. But, you know, it's just not. And even this Lakers, it's like, y'all could have made that. I mean, yeah, fine. You're trying to get the, the purple Laker shade, but it could have been a little bit darker. Um,. I just, I don't know. Nothing about it makes me want to use it. So the only reason why I'm keeping it is because it's a California palette. So, uh, mm, I'm going to keep it for now. I'm going to keep it for now because the whole reason why I got it was just because it's California. So I'm going to go ahead and keep it because that's why I got it anyway. I never got it to use it in the first place. Now this brand, 50-50, um, I don't remember the premise in full with this brand, but I think it was that they gave 50% of the profits to um, different causes, but don't quote me on that because I don't remember. I'm not sure why they were called 50-50, but anyway, I believe they don't exist anymore. So these palettes are actually the Seasons palettes it was a collection of seasons um so winter spring summer and fall and they don't have names on it so the only reason why i know that is because this is winter with the snowflakes this one is spring with the little dainty flowers this one is summer with the little girl with the guitar and then fall has like the little halloween and fall things on there you know spider webs pumpkins and stuff so let's look at this winter one first because honestly i feel like the winter one was the only one where i was like okay yeah that one i actually would keep because i actually love this color story the deep burgundies the blue the red tones the black i just i love the whole vibe and feel of this palette because it's nice and grungy so i'm definitely going to keep this if i don't use this because i'm actually keeping it to use if i don't use this by the end of the year i'm gonna get rid of it so that's gonna be my rule for myself this one here is what did i say spring okay so this is the spring palette very colorful as you can see pinks purples bright teal um these neutrals in here you know there's not a darker dark enough shade in here for me i think i would have appreciated a dark brown in here instead of one of these shimmers probably and that would appeal to me more to keep it and use it but the only reason why I would want to keep this is to keep the collection intact and I don't think I'm going to be doing that. So this one can go. This one is the summer. So let me see what the summer looks like because I really, ooh, summer is bright and I just dug my fingernail in there. Nice. Dug my fingernail in that deep, dark, beautiful blue in the center. Now this one is pretty. It is pretty. I have a lot of colorful palettes. So this is going to be a question of quality. And just swatching it, yeah, it's very dusty, very powdery. Even though it looks very pigmented, it's very powdery, very dusty. So just on that alone, yeah, no. Because I, once again, I have the Beauty Bay uh, Bright 
2.0 palette and if you guys have seen that palette you know that that palette has every colorful color in it let me grab it just in case you haven't seen it so this is the beauty bay bright 2.0 palette and this is what she looks like <laughs> so as you can see having this beauty bay palette um i definitely do not need this palette at all because this palette has every colorful color i would need in an amazing quality so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and declutter this one <sighs> goodbye summer palette and then lastly i have the fall one let's see what this baby looks like okay Ooh, i kind of like this color story i kind of like it Mmm. Oh, I kind of like it. Okay, let me see. The swatches will determine how much I like it, okay? Eh, not much. <laughs> not much. Those swatches leave a lot to be desired. So, dang. And that's a pretty color story, too. And it's like this um shimmer in the center you know it's kind of like one of those like i guess it was their version of a duochrome or something but even that is very lackluster so yep that one's gonna go so i'm only keeping the one i'm only keeping the winter palette and who knows how long i'll have that okay so let's go through some moira let's go through some moira palettes and moira has really been able to stay in my collection because their palettes are so pretty. <laughs> they are, they're so gorgeous, right? But we're gonna be cutthroat today. So this is the Flirting Flamingos uh, Exotic Series Palette. Um, yeah, really, really pretty. I mean, oh, it's gorgeous. Okay, so just taking a look at this palette here. A lot of pinky tones over here it's all dusty rose got some really bright um what do you call them fluorescence in there dark brown there's two glitters in here and lord knows i don't need no glitter in my palettes uh it, this has not been touched have not touched it have not swatched it so i'm going to put this in the giveaway pile so it's time to say goodbye to Flirting Flamingos. I'll see if somebody wants that because it has not been touched. Next, I have this uh, Wild in Colors palette from the Exotic Series. Once again, another beautiful palette with the peacock. Oh, it's gorgeous. Okay, so let's take a look. Okay, so this one's a little bit deeper. Has uh, blues, blacks, purples. Once again, looks like two glitters Ugh. why 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 um yeah i don't need this have i used this it looks like i swatched the black maybe i wanted to see how deep the black was but other than that it looks like it hasn't been touched so i'm gonna put this once again in the giveaway pile see if somebody wants it Okay, another Moira Never Ending Lights. Look how pretty this is. This is so pretty. Okay, so let's see what she looks like. Okay, oh, this one is pretty. This one is pretty, and it looks like if I didn't use it, I definitely swatched a few of these because this side over here is definitely swatched. Um, blues and purples. Pinks, burgundies, a couple of greens. It's a pretty color story. It is. Mm, would I ever reach for this? No. <laughs> that swatch told me no. This is pretty, but this one, not so much. Cha yeah, no, these, these swatches are not making me feel like I need to keep this palette for any reason you know they're not terrible but oh do I have some better palettes than this absolutely even better singles so 
yeah it's even though it's a gorgeous palette gorgeous gorgeous i think i'm gonna go ahead and put this in a giveaway pile too because it's really not used i'm sure that i just swatched it so you know it can be easily cleaned and used if someone wants it so yeah that one can go this one is the soul of fire another really pretty packaging uh let's see what this one looks like Ooh, that this one is really pretty <laughs> this one is really pretty i really like this section over here mm. i mean i've already either used or swatched see it's like their shimmers are gorgeous but they're so chunky but i can definitely uh, make a really pretty eye look with this but the question is would i reach for this palette over some of my other more amazing indie brands this the, this matte is really really powdery super pigmented i can definitely work with it uh, See, this is why I don't like the clutter and stuff. It's, it's too hard for me. Yeah, that purple made the decision for me. This is gorgeous, and I can definitely work with the blue. I'm sure the other shimmers are pretty, but that purple is abysmal. Okay, so yeah, this one is gonna go in the giveaway or declutter. I mean, it can be given away, honestly. Easily cleaned, you know spray it with some alcohol it's good to go okay and i think this is the last moira palette that i have get eyeshadow everywhere i think this is the last one i have and this might be one that i keep this is the moira wonderlust dream series palette and i have always really really loved this color story of course there's really pretty colors in here some you know warm neutrals but you know what? I'm going to I'm going to be an adult. I'm going to be an adult. I don't want to swatch it because it looks like honestly I've only swatched this shadow here. Everything else looks pretty pristine. This one might be swatched as well, but other than that it's pretty much new. So, I'm going to be an adult. I'm not going to swatch it. I'm not going to hold on to it because I love color. I'm going to put this in the giveaway pile. Okay, let's pull a few of these other palettes. See what we got. Becca Muse. I think I did a Becca Muse earlier. Yeah, I got rid of a Becca Muse already. These are the ones that don't have names on them, but they have really pretty color stories. So let's take a look at this one. Ooh, yeah, that's pretty. Okay, okay. We've got a couple of shimmers. We got three shimmers over here and one over here. Some blues, purples, greens, a lot of corally tones. They look orange on the camera, but they're more coral in person um, than reds, browns, and blacks. This is the kind of palette which um, kind of makes a good travel palette color story because you have some pretty shimmers. You got a black, a white, you know, and a lot of colors in between and a brown shade, you know, if you want to do a neutral look. So this really kind of boils down to uh, what I like to put this in my travel palettes um, collection or not. That's what it really boils down to. Uh, hmm. Well, let's see. Let's just check out the quality of shades that I would most likely use right they're actually not bad they're actually really not bad <sighs> a little dusty <laughs> but they definitely have pigment let me check out the shimmers a little bit oh that felt very dry and crusty very dry and crusty crumbly you know, and this is an older palette. I've had it for quite a while, so. Uh, I mean, they're pretty, but yeah. Mm, 
I have prettier palettes that I could travel with. So, yeah, I think this one. Yeah, and I don't like how these shimmers feel. They feel uh, very, like, crumbly, kind of crusty even. So I probably wouldn't enjoy working with them. So, yeah, this one can go. Okay, I'm going to stop swatching because this video is going to be forever. So this is one of the Amore Us palettes. It's a Snow Queen. I don't even hear anybody talking about Amores anymore. Are they even in business? So this is a 32 shade pressed pigment palette. At the time, I was like, oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. So, so pretty. But now it's kind of like, mm, it's still gorgeous. But with me having um, P. Louise palettes, like, I have an all-gorgeous blue palette from P. Louise. Once again, my Beauty Bay palettes. <laughs> you know, it's like the quality on this, I'm sure, doesn't even come close. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and declutter this one. And I never used it, so I can actually put this in a giveaway. Okay, and then another one from Amore Us. This is the Nala. And I really, really wanted this palette. I thought the packaging was pretty. You know, if you guys don't know, I'm a Leo, so I love anything lion big cat anything i love it <laughs> and the color story was really pretty too like these you know really gorgeous um browns and greens you know this deep dark section on the camera i don't know if you guys can really tell but because it's so dark but on the camera these lean purple like deep dark plum shades maybe you can see it better now but these lean more on the deep dark plummy side and they're just absolutely gorgeous but you know i am not going to um you know i'm not going to keep this when i have palettes of much much better quality than this so i'm gonna go ahead and i never touched it either never even swatched it so even though I love the packaging, that's the reason why I've been keeping it so long, the packaging, but I can't do that. I'm going to go ahead and let this go. I mean, I shouldn't say I can't do that because I can do whatever I want to do, but I won't do that. <laughs> I won't do it. Okay, so this is the Revolution Makeup Revolution London and Patricia Bright palette. Now, I feel like Patricia Bright she's really more of like a fashion now she gives financial advice you know she's really moved on and progressed in her life more so than you know doing makeup tutorials and stuff so although this was a a really exciting collab <laughs> that she did i feel like <sighs> the revolution formula um just compared to what i have in my collection already just doesn't cut it i'm not saying it was bad you know it's bad or horrible but yeah just i said i won't let's watch no more but i'm just curious at this point yeah it's like the formula is is not the best it's really not i have and then you know it has this putty shade in here that i was never really happy with it has these glitters and i don't understand why revolution always has to put a glitter in their palettes <laughs> but yeah so even though i would love to continue to hold on to this because i love patricia bright i'm gonna go ahead and let it go because i'm pretty sure patricia patricia bright probably doesn't even have this palette no more <laughs> no i'm just kidding she probably does but you know she couldn't care less whether i keep it or not so it's going to go okay next i have oh, clean that up next i have this tammy in revolution palette and i couldn't remember if this was her first one or her second one because i know i have another one in here that i need to take a look at but this one out of the two that i have i actually have three but out of the two that i had because she came out with a palette under her own brand name um that i think i'm going to keep just because it's her own palette but this one um out of the two that i have that she did with revolution i think i would keep this one more so just because the color story is more up my alley i hate the fact that these three wasted spaces have 
glitters because I don't want those. Um, this color story here is beautiful. I love these. Um, let me see if you and my mirror is broken. That's another reason to get rid of it as well. But just taking a close look at this color story, you know, this row here is so pretty. Definitely have those shades in other palettes though. This first row is really pretty as well. Definitely have those. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and let this go. This is a tough one because I love um, Tammy and her, her artistic ability with her eyeshadow and stuff. Love, love, love it. But yeah, I think I'm going to let this go. It's like just the fact that the mirror <laughs> has been cracked all this time and I had to tape it down and... I'm never going to reach for this. And Tammy, I'm sure she couldn't care less if I have her palette. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and let it go because it's beautiful. I'm not going to reach for this though. The two face palettes that came with this that have the blush and bronzer and highlight, I still have those and I'm not getting rid of those. So I'm just going to go ahead and let this go. Okay. Now this LA Girl palette, I bought this. Because for one, it was really pretty with the pink glitter. But I bought it specifically to display in my beauty room. You know, with pink and all that good stuff. So, it's kind of like if I'm not going to put it on display, I may as well let it go. Because this is like a few years old. It's the, what does it say? Believe in the beauty of your dreams. I don't know if that's the name of this palette. What's the name of this palette? Reverie. Yeah, the name of this palette was Reverie, okay? But I've had this for a few years at this point. As you can see, I never touched it. Never touched it, never swatched it, never used it, anything, because of the fact that I just bought this because it was pink glitter and it's pretty. But it is a really, really pretty color story. Um, so I think probably because it is so old and nobody would probably want it to actually use, maybe? I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and keep it just for display purposes in my beauty room because it is really, really pretty. Okay, I'm doing good, you guys. I'm running through, I'm running through these palettes. Okay, so let's move some more over here. Yep, I got more. Okay, so next I have this Alomar Cosmetics palette. This one I'm pretty sure I got, this is the Reina del Caribe. I'm pretty sure I got this in my boxy charm, and it was a pretty big deal when it came out. Um, there's no mirror in here, so that's fine. Um, I think when it came out, people were really loving this color story. This wasn't like a color story that you, you know, would come across and see every day. You know, the teals and the pretty natural shades, but I definitely have a lot of palettes that I would reach for before this for this color story so I'm gonna go ahead and let that go um, this one I think is another one that has a similar color story this is the makeup obsession after dark shadow palette and I remember um, really focusing on this palette when Urban Decay came out with their eyeshadow palette that has this color story. I don't remember what it's called. It's like the Western one or whatever. Um, and I didn't buy it at the time, but of course it went on sale for like half price or less. And so I bought it then. But this color story was really big around that time. Once again, I have plenty of palettes that have browns and teals and, you know, these pretty like orangey shades and stuff in there that I would pull before this. So, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and let this one go because I don't need it. This one here, Midas Cosmetics High Times. I'm pretty sure this uh, brand is not even in business anymore or they've changed their name by now. Um, and once again, this color story is gorgeous. What I like about this one is it pulls cool tone and it has this gray here in the center. But am I going to reach for this palette? <sighs> no, I have beautiful palettes that have grays in them, beautiful teals in them. 
once again my beauty bay palette that has the greens and the browns i will reach for before this so yeah no i'm gonna go ahead and let this go okay another makeup addiction palette this one is sinful eyes and this one i probably am going to keep not only because i love the sephora-esque packaging but because it does have sentimental memories attached to it um, me and my two besties here on YouTube we did a video uh, a collab video using this palette and we let the like um, shade picker pick the shades or something like that I don't remember how we did it but it came up with random uh, numbers for the shades that we had to use in that video and it was a lot of fun it picked some crappy colors to go together but we had a lot of fun creating that video so it definitely has sentimental value attached to this palette and thus i'm going to keep it even though um makeup addiction doesn't even you know they're not even doing makeup anymore now these two palettes from Mayali beauty this brand doesn't exist anymore and they were a different brand before my Ollie beauty um i can't remember the name though um and when they came out with these palettes when they started their new brand i was so happy i was like oh they're back they're doing makeup again color stories are beautiful but they went right back out of business <laughs> so the reason why i still have these palettes is because i love the color stories so much and i love the packaging the packaging on these palettes is so pretty to me. When I look at it, it just makes me feel peaceful. You know, it puts me at ease and I like that. So these might be difficult for me to part with. So this one, this first one here is, um, what is it? The Ayubia? Ayubia. And it's really pretty. You know, the color story is not unique or anything. It has these, uh, you know, teals turquoise shades you know kind of red tones orangey tones this is a deep dark plum it might look black on the camera but it's actually a really deep purple so it's a pretty color story this one is difficult and the reason why it's difficult is only because of the packaging i love the packaging and i also like the fact that i have you know palettes by this brand i don't know why but you know my own reasons i guess and this is the yaya and the yaya has that same um green and brown and orangey tone color story so same thing you know obviously i already have this color story and i wouldn't pull for this palette <sighs> this one is hard it is this one is hard because this is definitely one that I love for the packaging. I'm gonna put this in a maybe because I don't feel like stressing over it. So those are going to maybe. Okay, so here we have a color story palette. This is the Tropical Glow. Very, very pretty. And this one has a gorgeous color story. It has some greens and yellows, some orange and warm tones, pinky purples, blues, a black and a brown I guess hmm now the reason why I still have this palette honestly is because my daughter bought it for me I guess she was just shopping in Target one day or something she saw it thought of her mom and she bought it for me so for that reason alone ladies and gentlemen this palette is not going anywhere <laughs> so that one is staying in mommy's collection this one here the queen this is the Eloise. A queen lies in all of us. Now, I really like this packaging because I like the three different shades of woman. Really like that. This came in my BoxyCharm or Ipsy Box, one of them. And I knew when I saw it that I was never going to use it, quite honestly. Just, you know, I don't know. I don't like these tiny little square pans. And... I just knew I wasn't going to use it. Something about it is not appealing to me. So the only reason why I have it is because of the packaging. Um, which, you know, like I said, I really, really like this packaging with the three different shades of woman. But is that enough for me to keep this? No, it's not. So that one's going in the declutter. 
Alien Cosmetics, another indie brand where I'm just like, did they change their name? A lot of the indie brands, it's hard for me to keep up because honestly, they change their names, their rebrand, things like that. So I think this is one that did rebrand or change their name. I don't know. That's how old this palette is. It is very old. I don't even know the name of this palette, but it's cute nonetheless. And um, just looking at it, very bold, vibrant colors. Would I pick up this palette over any other palettes that I have in my collection with these same colors? Pink, purple, green, red, you know, gold shimmer, orange shimmer. No, I wouldn't. So this one is going to go. Okay, guys, we're down to the last stack. So excited okay so excited let's take a look okay beauty bay pastels <laughs> i bought this palette a long time ago because i wanted a pastel palette it didn't really have anything now i have the plan and makeup by yolando which i'm sure will put this to shame i have um <sighs> who is it blend bunny I think one of their palettes has some really nice um, pastels in it. I mean, if I just want some light faded shadows, I can use my ColourPop palettes, to be honest with you. <laughs> so, I mean, this palette did get some pretty like bad reviews, if I'm remembering correctly. And honestly, just swatching it, I can kind of see why these swatches do seem very powdery very dusty so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and finally let this go it's a cute little palette but it's like useless to me really um so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and let that go okay next i have here this neon drip from poppy cosmetics this is a pressed pigment palette and these are some really pretty neon shades um it looks like i might have gently swatched the shimmers Ooh, that is pretty bad oh my goodness yeah that's pretty pretty bad it's like they they look more like toppers which i don't really do toppers you know i i like if, if child yeah no i'm not really feeling that just from the swatches of the shimmers alone ah uh, oh, let me see how these mat oh dang the mats are pretty weak as well i mean it's it's uh, yeah that's pretty dusty that's pretty dusty okay so she's gonna go i mean it it must be a reason like in my spirit <laughs> why certain palettes i just don't even use you know it's like sometimes i feel like you get a feel for palettes and how they're going to perform even when you don't know you just kind of look at them and tell so this is the nico mimi from lollipop very cute packaging um but oh color story is pretty too very pretty yeah I mean hmm would I ever use these what palette would I use um, instead of this and there's a glitter in here too I don't like that I'm trying to think what palette do I have just off the top of my head that I would grab if I wanted to use these colors. Okay, I pulled two palettes that I thought about in regards to possibly using instead of this palette. My first Beauty Bay Brights palette, which has some really pretty pinks, purples, you know, blues. Yeah, I would definitely reach for this before the Poppy palette. And then I also pulled this palette here from ABH. Uh, this was one of the Norvina palettes and it has a bright pink, 
some bright blues in there, you know. So yeah, I definitely have other palettes that I would pull before this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this. This one is the, which one is this? The volume two, the Norvina volume two. And this is the original Beauty Bay Bright, Bright Matte palette. Okay, next I have here <laughs> this Lily Croaks from Metamorphosis. I don't even think they are, um, you know, in business anymore. I don't know, they could be, but I know I bought this palette a very long time ago and it's super duper cute but <laughs> am I going to reach for these shades once again I definitely have these shades in other palettes that I would reach for before this I mean this blue is pretty these other darker blues are pretty as well even the greens but yeah I don't need to keep this if I kept it, it would only be because the packaging is so cute. This palette here is a palette that Ulta Beauty did um, in honor of Frida Kahlo. And I really, I bought this palette just because it reminded me of, you know, when I was in college and I had to spend so much time studying her and her art and, you know, her life and all that stuff. So it just kind of gave me like a nostalgia type vibe. Um, and the actual color story is pretty, but it's very basic. As you can see, I never used it. Um, I don't even know. I might have swatched it, but I don't even think I swatched it. I feel like um, it's really almost like new. So if I do keep this, it would be just as a memory, which that's kind of why I bought it in the first place, to be honest with you. It's just kind of like as a memory of when I was in college and let's see if I can brighten that up. There we go. When I was in college and just the fact that I had to study her so aggressively, I was like, oh, I know her. Um, so yeah. I might keep it for that reason. I'm going to put this in the maybe for now, which I really don't have too many in the maybe. But um, I'm going to put that in the maybe for now because of the fact that, you know, I might not keep it. So this was from Beauty Dame Into the Night. Really pretty packaging. Um, I had a few palettes by them, so I did. I already decluttered a few. Um, but I kept this one obviously because I love this deep dark blue grungy color story. Um, hmm. It has a lot of gray in here. That's probably another reason why I kept it because it has a lot of gray tones in here. Um, hmm. Do I need this? Uh, no. <laughs> That's why sometimes you do have to swatch just to kind of be like, mm, that might help you make a decision. I mean, like a couple of the shimmers are okay. This one is horrible. Um, this purple. Yeah, the purple's okay, but it's not anything to write home about. So yeah, I can go ahead and get rid of this. Okay, next I have this palette um, from Cuff Your Pearls. It's called Trouble in Paradise. And I was really drawn to this palette because of the fact that it really focuses on mental health and well-being and just kind of taking care of yourself you know so for that reason alone i'm probably going to keep this palette it's a really pretty color story it has some gorgeous shimmers in here i'll probably never reach for it but that's not why i bought this palette in the first place you know i truly bought it because i feel very strongly about mental health issues people taking care of themselves and us really loving and caring about people who struggle with mental health issues i mean a lot of people do you know that people that are just in your everyday life walking around you know 
going through the mundaneness of life and it's like they still have to function so I just feel really strongly about taking care of your mental health and making it something that people are aware of. So I'm gonna keep that for this for that reason alone. All right, y'all. We only got five more palettes. This is from Quest of Cosmetics. It's called I Am Bold, I Am Brave, Courageous, and Strong. <laughs> um, let's take a look at this. Okay, so this one, neutrals some red burgundy tones and some blues mm. yeah I, I'm not gonna keep this I'm gonna go ahead and let it go <laughs> I just I had to swatch something I had to swatch something yeah it feels it's it's pretty you could definitely make a gorgeous eye look with it but yeah I don't need it don't need it so I'm gonna go ahead and let it go Next, we have here Into the Tropics. This is from Beauty Dame, the same brand that did that other blue palette. This one here that I decluttered already. The Into the Night, same brand, Beauty Dame. Into the Tropics. So this one, obviously, um, is a colorful one. It's pretty. It is pretty. It has a row for each you know, we've got the greens, the blues, purples, pinks, oranges, reds. Mm, I don't need this. <laughs> I don't need it. It's gorgeous, but I, I would never reach for it. Now, this palette is going to be a little difficult for me, but I am going to let it go. And it's really just because of the quality. If it was a really good quality palette, this Revolution and Tammy um, Tropical Carnival eyeshadow palette that she did with them, I would keep. Just for the fact that the, the packaging is gorgeous. I love the packaging. She did an excellent job with the packaging. But the... Um, and the color story is gorgeous, but the quality is just not where I need it to be. You know, back when this came out, I was in love with it. I thought it was great. It, you know, it was like, you know, Tammy, I got it. Let's go. But now the, where my collection is now, yeah, this is not great at all. So we're going to go ahead <laughs> and say goodbye to Tammy. It's so hard to say goodbye to Tammy's palette and I'll take with me the memories anyway these two palettes are gonna go when they came out I thought they were the best thing since sliced bread oh my goodness five million colors in one place i think they came out with either five or six color books they had a red one a green one a orange one a yellow and brown one a blue one a purple one they had all of these color books and at the time i thought it was just like the best thing since sliced bread because of the fact that you know like there's every single color of red orange and yellow and brown <laughs> in here and then why i kept the red one and the brown one is beyond me child i have no idea why these are the two that i decided to keep instead of the blue and the purple and the green child i, I do not know maybe because i have such better palettes um that are blue and green and stuff but now i have amazing palettes that are red and brown so i don't need these either um, but I feel like for what they were at the time, they were good to have because honey, they had every single shadow that you can imagine, but these shadows are so dusty and crumbly that it's not even funny. So yeah, although they are beautiful to look at and they are a great idea, you know, like this half of the palette. It has this little plastic divider on here. And so this half of the palette is all shimmers and this one is all mattes. Same thing for all of the palettes. One half is mattes and the other half is all shimmers, which is pretty cool, but the quality is just not where I would need for it to be, okay? So yeah, these are both getting decluttered, okay? 
So yeah, that is it. It looks like for the palettes that I am going to be keeping, mainly for sentimental reasons or either just the fact that I can, you know, depot them, you know, for being magnetic or, you know, for other emotional reasons. This is it right here. These are all the ones that I said that I am keeping for sure, for sure. So out of the stack, <laughs> let me show you because you guys have to be able to see that I made some progress. These are all the ones I'm keeping. These are all the ones that are going to the loo, okay? But you guys get the idea. You see this whole basket of palettes, and this is a pretty decent sized basket here. And it's full of all the palettes that I am decluttering. There are lots of palettes in here, okay? Lots, lots, lots. So that's a pretty, a pretty good declutter, I would say. These are the ones I'm keeping, this little stack here, and then these were all the ones that were maybes. Maybe I can make a decision right quick on these, these maybes. Um, let me bring you back down a little bit. So this, uh, hmm, what are we thinking? Eh, she can go. See how easy that was? This one I'm keeping because the Frida Kahlo, it's a memento for me, reminds me of my college days. I'm keeping her. Um, the Ayubias, these are the only other two. Uh, I, mm, I'm just not ready yet. I'm not ready yet. The packaging is pretty. I'm not ready yet. So they might go at the end of the year, but for now they're staying. So anyways, you guys, that is it. I think I did okay. I think I did okay. It wasn't too, too stressful. It wasn't. Oh, and then these over here. These are all the ones that are almost like new. Uh, either new or almost like new. So these are going to be, you know, if someone wants them, I'll give them away. If not, then they're going to get decluttered as well. So yeah, these as well. Those went bye-bye. So yeah, I think I did all right, you guys. So anyways, that's it. I'll stop yammering. This video is long enough. If you enjoyed this content, please definitely hit like, subscribe, you know, follow your girl, come back for some more, okay? But that's it, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you on the next one. Toodles! <laughs>